Wait, what seat. hint? What hint you want to give us? I would have just said standard temperature pressure, so I wouldn't have given you. Oh, just come and go. She's going easy. That's an open door. I got an open door policy. <laughs> For the seventy, for the seven sixty, the V over two seventy three. Just to be clear, we should divide seven sixty by two hundred seventy three, right? And we leave the, the way, V. The way I would solve this idea. Yeah. Okay. I would do this. But it's just me. I would say V equals seven fifty three times thirty five point five. Times 273 divided by 7. That's what I would do. 
Oh. Uh, you have to do it that way. Okay. So all I'm doing is doing my cross multiplying, multiplying both sides by 273, get rid of that. Remind both sides by 760 just to get B by itself. That's the way I would do it. Doesn't mean you have to. Some people will do the math on the left side and then on the right side and then solve for B, which is perfectly acceptable too. Uh, it's, it's a personal choice. Personal choice. Okay. Yeah. All right. Any other questions with that one? 51. 8.02 atmosphere. What formula do you use for that one? Hey, any, okay, any question on 51, 53, or 55? Um, yeah, oh, like. Hey, these right. one, if you look at 55, right. they give you a volume, they give you a pressure, and they right. give you moles. So, one of the clues there is moles. What's one of the only equations that we have that involves moles? PV equals NRT. Uh, so that's the equation you use. All right, Nick, and that'd be good. Okay. So they're giving you like they're giving you volume, pressure, and moles, and then they ask you for temperature, but then you know PV equals NRT because that's the one that includes pressure, volume, moles, and temperature. All right. That's the only one that has moles in it. Okay. All right. You sure? Yes. Uh, 63. Yeah. Molecular weight is 1.6 times 10 to the second, or 160 grams per mole. Yeah. Yeah. All right, 63. I love 63. That's one of my favorite numbers in the whole world. Let's see. So let's see, what did they give us? They gave us 120, 1.28 grams of sample. Correct? Of some gas. Is that correct? Sir? Yes. Oh, we're colorless liquid, I'm sorry. It was vaporized in a 250 ml flask, so V equals 0 0.25 of liters. And 121 degrees Celsius. Well, 121 degrees Celsius, what is that in Kelvin? 394. 394, thank you. And they gave us 700 pressure of 786 millimeters of mercury. And they said, what is the molecular weight? Well, what is the units for molecular weight? Grams per mole. Guess what they gave us? Grams. So I gotta figure out what? Moles. Okay. So I gotta find out what moles is. So this one, did you guys put it in atmosphere? Times one atmosphere per what 760? What does that give you? 1.03? 1.03. Okay. So is everybody okay with that? So now I can call solve for what? I can solve for more. C D. My pressure is what? 1.03. My volume is 0 0.250. And R is what? And 
temperature is 394. When you're using PV equals energy, do you have to change the volume to liters? This is the oh, this is one of the few times that volume has to be in liters. Okay. okay, and the reason why is so like if you look at our R value, it is a point oh eight two one, what is it, atmosphere liters per mole Kelvin. So liters is part of the units for R. So then your volume always has to be in liters. Okay. It's one of the, I like the other ones where if you're typing in volume and volume, it doesn't matter. But since, since our R value is in liters, volume always has to be in liters. Does that make sense? Yeah. And when you do this, you solve for N, I believe you get 0.008 correct? Yeah. Roughly, if you did, if you did, if you round, it's like seven, nine, eight, something, or seven, well, oh, seven, so now I got moles, right? I got grams, so how do I solve for molar mass? I just think what? 1.28, oh, oh, So the key thing is no more molecular weight. This, the units are grams per mole. Okay. Wait, where did you get one plus Ah, it was given to us in the problem. He said we got a 1.28 gram sample. So, and they ask us what is the molecular weight. So if I know grams, I have, all I have to do now is calculate what. Okay. Did that, Sarah? Yeah, I just. I put Yeah, keep in mind, volume has to be in liters for PV equals energy. Ah, uh, sixty-seven. One point four liters. Sixty-nine. Hundred and sixty liters. Oh wait, yeah, 67 was 1.4 liters, 69 to 160 liters. Huh? 69? Well, let's see what it says. It gave us an EP. Wow, that's really nice. It can give you a balancing equation. I guarantee you I won't give you a balancing equation. So make sure that, I might give you the equation, but make sure that it's always what? Balance. Uh, Who? Yeah. No, that's that's no fun. Yeah, I think some of the fun out of balancing. I love the balance equation though. Whoa. How about no test? Everybody just gets a hundred. You said it, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Man, that's just crazy nice. <laughs> nah, I'm not crazy nice. You didn't even have to grade it. Let's do partner. I know, look at that. I don't think you have to grade it. You know what? How about this? One test for the whole class. Okay. And then what I'll do is split it up a little divide it by 30. Perfect. So we just get like. We all get the three percent. We're doing the triggering. What's a partner test? Where you do the test of the partner? Adorable. Alright. So here's the last point. They said lithium hydroxide. Now, it's used in spacecraft, so when they go up in the shuttle and all those astronauts, they get rid of it. So they gave us what volume of carbon dioxide, so I need to know what this volume. Correct? At 21 degrees Celsius, so I got temperature. 21 degrees.
degree Celsius. Well, let's just throw it to Kelvin, which is what? 294. Is that correct? Uh, 781 millimeters of mercury. Well, we don't like millimeters, so let's just. So what is that? 1.0. Is that 4 or something like that? 2. 2? 1.02. And it could be absorbed by 327 grams of lithium oxide. But that wasn't very nice. They gave us grams. So what's the first thing you gotta do? Convert grams to what? So, lithium oxide, 327 grams, right? That's a horrible too. I'm going to convert that to what? Oh, so what's that molar mass of lithium hydroxide? 23.1. Really? That's small? So, that gives me moles. So how many moles do I get? 13.8? So this gives me 13.68 moles. But why do I care about moles of lithium hydroxide when I want carbon dioxide? I can use my mole ratio, correct? Oh. Moles, lithium hydroxide. What's the mole ratio between carbon dioxide and lithium hydroxide? Moles, lithium hydroxide. 1 over 2 over 2. Yeah, 1 over 2. Wow. And that gives me what? 6. Point, what is it? 8, 4? 13.6 No. Do I is that the hardest part of stone geometry? Yeah. Hopefully. I mean we're not converting it to grams or going from grams to moles to moles to grams and all that stuff, so now I know moles. Well, if I know temperature, pressure, moles, can I calculate volume? Yes. Yeah. So, one of my favorite equations be equal to RT. Pressure is 1.02. Volume is, I don't know. Moles is 6.84. 160 Remember, when we do soil geometry, you have to know what? Oh. Man, I'm so exhausted. What number was that? 69. Last two, 75. I got for helium. I'm going to ask it. Assume calculate the total pressure. And so I got the pressure for helium at 0.186 atmospheres. And helium again is 0.09. Seven nine atmospheres. Is that right? It's what's weird. I think they screwed up with my answer book. Let's let's do this. I don't know what the answer is. I think they screwed up with the book. The first the first one was right, but the second one was. What's that? The the one for uh, the one for helium should be point two three two atmospheres. That's what I got. 
You know what it is? I think that somehow they messed up in the book. My hand. Let's, because it is for helium and helium. And no, it's helium and hydrogen, right? Yeah. What did you guys get for uh, 75? Pardon me? Did you get point oh point two eight toe? Yeah. So which one was the answer for helium? Point one nine. And what was the one for hydrogen? Point zero nine. Point zero nine. Okay. Yeah. So what you're asking you to do is calculate the total pressure in atmospheres of a mixture of point oh two oh moles of helium. <laughs> And 0.01 moles of oxygen and a 2.5 liter flask at 10 degrees Celsius. Well, one equation, what's the only equation we have to calculate moles? PV equals MRT. Doesn't that just got like a catchy tune to it? Oh, you got PV equals MRT for both. And they said it's what? We gotta find pressure in atmosphere. So you got P times 2.50. For helium, how many moles? 0.02. <coughs> R, 0.0825. And what temperature is 10 degrees Celsius or 283 Kelvin. And then you do the same thing for hydrogen. P equals 2.50, same flask, but this time 0.01 moles, right? You know, so, yeah. Um, I just wondering, I did it, right? But why would you use 2.5 for both of them? Because the whole flask was 2.5 liters. Right. So, so what I'm doing is. 2.5 liters of helium. Just Pardon me? Hydrogen. So, what I'm doing is, I can't put them all on the same flask. Okay. With you. Here's my class. Now, if this is 2.5 liters, I put the hydrogen and the helium in there. Did I change the volume of my class? No, but you don't have to. Like, if you have both helium and hydrogen. I still have one, but the volume is still plugged. But it's not 2.5 liters of hydrogen. You know, like Remember, the gas is taken by the space of the equipment. So even though I put two different gases in here, the volume does not change for both of them. It's still going to be 2.5. Yeah, if you saying, like, why is it not, why is it 2.5 for both? Wouldn't it be whichever one is actually? Yeah, like, wouldn't it be, like, like... No, the volume, I mean, you, you got to remember, it's not like... I'm keeping them separated. It gives them one gas. What happens when you put a gas in a container? It spreads out. It spreads out. So. But then if you took, like if you had I mean, the same amount of helium in there and you took out the hydrogen. There's my plus, which is a little plus, right? I can put helium in here, right? I put just my helium in here, right? And what space does it occupy? Okay. And then I put and then I put my hydrogen in here. What space is that occupied? And I got both of them. What space is it occupied? That makes sense. And so it's still making it's still occupying the same space. Okay. No. Which, yeah, I was getting confused that like the helium on one side and the hydrogen on this other side. They're both in that one flask. Okay. And I could put as much gas in here until the pressure becomes too big and it what? Breaks. And the, the volume of this flask will always remain the same. And they occupy, even though there's other gases in there, but both gases are occupying the same space. They might run into each other. They might bounce. I mean, there's more chance that they're going to bounce into each other or other particles, but the, the space is still the same. Okay. Okay, even though, 
I can put, like I said, I can put as much gas in there as possible until it blows up. Because eventually, something's got to get. You know what I mean? It's just like a balloon. Something, eventually, something's got to get. And I mean, do this. Helium, you should get 0 0.186 moles. And hydrogen, you should get 0.093 moles for atmosphere. I'm sorry. And then what do you have to do to get the total pressure? Just that. Okay. And if you add them, you should get 9, 17, 